and welcome to another episode of Sit and Spin with me, your host Joe. He's back and being with us again. And today, something I don't think I've ever talked about on the show before. Some blues. So more to the point, blues rock. So all my friends out there who are blues fans or blues rock fans or just fans of great guitar playing, got a great one for you. I'm talking to you, Chris Martin, and Melissa Pissy Parker Crockett, and Melissa Ann Martin, and Janine Doucette, and Sean Davis, and Gino Ames, and anybody else whose name I forgot. Those are all off the top of my head. Uh, here's a great new record for you. The new one from Indigenous, featuring Mato Nanji. Their new album, Time Is Coming, the band's 10th record. Now, Indigenous, if you were unfamiliar with them, are a Native American blues rock group out of the Dakota Nation, which is awesome because I am part Native American myself. And they originally consisted of Mato Nanji on vocals and guitar, his brother Peite on bass, his sister Wabani on drums, and their cousin Horse on percussion. And they first came onto the scene back in 1998 with their debut album, Things We Do, on Packing Her Records. Featured the song Now That You're Gone, which actually made it to number two on the Billboard Mainstream Rock Charts. It's the first time that had ever happened with Native American band who was rocking that bad. And the group originally got together uh, because of their father, and Ray's of course, that is. Uh, their father, Greg Zephyr, who was a spokesman for Native American rights and a musician in his own right back in the 60s and 70s. He introduced his kids to a lot of great artists in the life of Radio Records with people like uh, Buddy Guy and Jimi Hendrix and Steve Ray Vaughan the light and that kind of thing and taught his kids how to play and they played a band together and sadly he didn't get to live long enough to actually see them become successful and popular but they put that first record out and it did really well they won a lot of awards and released several other records and back in 2006 the original band split, split up but Mato continued the band name just adding the featuring Mato Nanji part of the beginning of it and kept the band name alive. It says really several other records on different labels. But they've been on the They were on Samba for a while. They were on Vanguard for a while. And a couple of years back, Mato signed with Mike Varney's Blues Bureau International label. And Mike Varney, if you were a hard rock music fan, especially a guitar player fan, that's a name you definitely know. Because Mike Varney started strapping the label back in the 80s. And a lot of those shredding guitar players that were, you know, done. instrumental guitar players that were super dominant. And people like the Richie Cotson, who I'm also a big fan of. Uh, they kind of owe a lot of their early career to Mike Varney and Shroud the Label. And then in the later decades in the 90s and stuff, Mike branched out to a blues label, Blues Bureau International. And that is the label that Indigenous is calling home these days. And Mato, besides being a killer guitar player, is also a really great vocalist. And his vocals fall somewhere between ZZ Top's Billy Gibbons, Doyle Graham Hall 2, and actually, uh, they collaborated on some of the early material with Doyle Bramhall Sr., just Doyle Bramhall, who wrote a lot of Steve Ray Vaughn, and co-wrote a lot of Steve Ray Vaughn's big hits, that's cool. And uh, Todd Park Marr from Big Head Todd and the Monsters. And in fact, the first time I ever heard Now That You're Gone, I actually thought it was a Big Head Monsters. Big Head Todd and the Monsters track I'd never heard before. And that caused me to investigate it further than I thought. It was just new band indigenous who were really awesome, and I've been a big fan of this ever since. But if you like Steve Ray Vaughan and Kenny Wayne Shepherd and Johnny Lang and you've never heard of Indigenous, you definitely owe yourself go and check out their music. Start with this one. It's a great album. I like pretty much everything on it. Uh, the song you hear right now, Gray Skies, just good ripping guitar stuff. Uh, the title track is a good mid-tempo blues song that features a good mix of electric and acoustic guitars. Won't Be Around No More, it's just got this deep, dirty groove to it that's just awesome. So Far Gone, it's just a good driving blues rock tune, and uh, that song that closes out the album, Don't Know What To Do, just, oh, testifying guitar playing, just, just epic, long blues rock tune, just, just soulful, testifying, as I said before, guitar playing, it's really, really great stuff. For the band on this record, he's got some great players to play behind him. Uh, on drums, Jeff Martin, which if you're a hard rock fan, that's a name that should be familiar with you. Uh, Jeff Martin was a drummer and a singer, played with the band Surgical Steel, Racer X, Leather Wolves, Badlands, and a host of other people. Uh, Steve Evans on bass, and Jesse Bradman on keyboards. And it's just, as I said, it's great stuff. You can't, you can't go wrong. It's a great album. So, if you've never heard of them before, go out and check out Indigenous and their new album, Time is coming. And Mato is out on tour now behind this record. He's got a different band who actually tours with him. But when he's not touring as Indigenous, he's playing with the Experience Hendrix tour band, which is really cool, playing with some of the four members of Jimi Hendrix Experience. And it's great stuff. So I'm glad he's out there 
definitely in his own words on track two, I'm telling you, go out and pick up Time's Coming by Mato Nanchi and featuring Chichin Chichin Nanchi. You know what I mean. It's good stuff. Go out and buy it. Good rip and rock. That's all I got for you this week. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you're catching my good friend Scott over at Righteous Final as well as the River Day guys. You know Sean Melkey and all the cool new people who are playing over there. And uh, I may not have a show for you next week because I'm on vacation and even I need a little time off too. But if I do, it's going to be something cool. Something, something a little special. I'm going to have a special guest star. If I do, I don't want to give too much away, but somebody else, a good friend, is on vacation and he's going to be in the area. So hopefully we can work some show, some joint show badges. Not that kind of joy. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully, we'll see you next time, even if it's not next week. And we'll have something great and groovy new for you then, too. Until then, see you next time. Later. For those of you who don't, you get the duck. <laughs>